Hello, sports fans, and welcome back to another episode of NBA Bust Franchise. Uh, before we jump into some gameplay, we're just gonna go through some of the games that we that weren't quite as exciting enough to show you. Uh, in this game, we got smoked by the Dallas Mavericks. Luka Doncic had a really good game. Kristaps had a good game. Thonmaker still got his you know normal 40 points, uh, but nobody else did very well. Um, and then we jump right to Phoenix, and this game was really frustrating because I felt like Phoenix was a team we could easily beat, but they just absolutely smoked us out. It was incredible how bad our offense was, um, and just a really bad game that wasn't even worth showing you guys any sort of highlights from. Um, so to quickly look at the stats from that game, uh, you'll see Thonmaker wasn't our highest score. He was tied for our highest score. He only had 16, 3 of 12, 2 of 8 from 3. Our starters were negative 21. Our bench was negative 18. Nobody did much of anything. It was really just a freaking awful game. Um, and I want to move right on from it. So we're going to jump into our 24th game of the season against the Chicago Bulls. And this is a team that we definitely should be able to beat because they're one of the worst teams in the league. Just like us. Um, they got Chris Dunn, they got Zach Levine, they've got a, a nice young core, um, but we've got some veterans, you know, and we have a young core of our own. Um, so we tip off, and this was a great game, so enjoy. Lonzo out on the break, passes it to Thon. Thon, back to Lonzo. We're going to run the pick and pop, start it off strong. Lonzo pulls in the D, out to Thon for a green three, baby, let's go. We are going to do whatever it takes to get a win after the last two absolutely devastating losses. I will pick and pop as much as it takes to get a W here. I'm not lying. <laughs> Thon maker again for three. Lonzo really does a good job of sucking in the D on those, and then just the, the center gets attached to Lonzo, and then Thon's just wide open. Oh, Thon with the block, and he grabs the rebound. Let's go over to Michael Kidd Gilchrist to Beasley. Tosses it up, not able to get it, but a nice effort there. Otto Porter Jr. with it. Ooh, and Michael Kidd Gilchrist gets aggressive on him and forces the turnover. What a play. That's why we've got him out here. What's that? Did you guys say you want more pick and pop? All right, here you go. Fultz out to Thon. Hits it. That's three for three, baby. All right, we've got the bench unit in now, out on the break. Stauskas has it. Stauskas to Exum. Exum trying to get inside. This is dangerous, dangerous territory, but Stauskas, the drive. Ooh, not able to get the tough finish around the rim, but grabs his own rebound and greens it. You know, Stauskas is a guy that I think could be a big offensive weapon for us, and I hope that he can sort of emerge as a great knockdown shooter off the bench. But we'll see. We haven't quite seen it yet so far. Stauskas for three at the end of the first, not able to hit it, and we go into the second quarter down by eight. Not an ideal situation, but definitely still doable. Denzel Valentine with it. Hizonia, and is that Stanley Johnson gets the steal. Hizonia on the break to Bogut, and Bogut will green it, the great finish around the rim, which we can always expect from him. Stauskas guarding Harrison. They tried the lob to Zach Randolph. Ooh, maybe ten years ago that would have worked. Uh, Hizonia to Exum. Exum driving in, but he passes it, and Bogut will green it again. We are great on the break. That's definitely the only time on our offense I would call it smooth. Ooh, that was smooth by Stanley Johnson there. We tied up at 21 as the bench goes on a nice little run there. Inside to Randolph, but Bogut says, get that out of here. Stauskas up to Johnson. To Hizonia will shoot a mid-range and miss it. Man, Hizonia is just, oh man, guys. I always want to bench him, but then I'm like, we don't really have any other better options, so I guess I'm just going to keep him around. Stanley, up to Hizonia. Hizonia, the mid-range, not able to go. All right. Bulls with it now. Let's get a nice defensive stand, not let him take the lead again. Hizonia on Valentine. They're on the screen with Bobby Portis. Gets inside. And blocked again by Bogut. Let's go. We've got the ball now, Exum, up to Stauskas. Let's see what Stauskas can do as the primary ball handler. Oh, he gets inside, and the, oh, he finishes it. Heavily contested. Wasn't exactly the best shot selection, but I am so down for that. Inside to Beasley, and Beasley will jam it. Nice pass by Lonzo. Offense looking really good right now. Really happy with it. Thon, inside to Ball. Ball will finish it with the foul. Count that baby and a foul. 
Let's go. Zach Levine with it. Ooh, Dunn just put Lonzo on skates, but Thonmaker comes to save the day with the help side block. Yeah, that's right. You see that right. He is the league leader in blocks per game um, and really just a great help side defender. Fultz up to Alonzo, end of the first half, and wow, we were going to run the shot clock out, but when Thonmaker is wide open under the basket, I'm going to take that. Now we've got Ball and Thonmaker on fire. Fultz going to shoot it at the end of the half and not able to hit it, but we do go into the half uh, up by three, which means we outscored them by about 10 points uh, in the second quarter. Really nice. Thon has 13 at halftime. Laurie Markkinen has 10. Uh, let's keep this run going. Let's get this dub here, guys. Lonzo's still on fire from the first half. Thon as well. And they'll connect for the beautiful dunk. Love to see it. Love that beautiful connection between Thon and Lonzo. Up ahead to Markkinen, but oh, Beasley blocks him. And if he didn't do it, I think Thon was going to block him as well. Markel to Lonzo. Lonzo will shoot it. Ooh, too heavily contested. Um, but I like to see him being a little more aggressive with his shot taking. So I'm cool with it. Ooh, Wendell Carter Jr. will slide inside and nail it, but we're good. Lonzo's got it. Top of the key. Ooh, puts the move on. Not able to make anything happen, but able to find Beasley. That's what I love about Lonzo. He makes all of those passes are so accurate and lead the shooter in the right direction. And that's what makes him a great point guard and uh, one of our staples of the future. Ooh, that's a Thon Green, baby. That's what we needed. I try not to spam the pick and pop too much because it seems pretty overpowered. Ooh, but I'll spam the Thon Maker Eurostep all day. Um, let's see that again. Oh, man. How many centers can do that? Watch this skill play here. Ooh, man, that's beautiful. I love Thon Maker's finishes around the basket. I don't know. Am I crazy for being so into all the different Thon Maker moves? I don't know. But. I don't care either. Ooh, Stavskis pulls up. He took a shit. He was like, I'm taking this. Shot it. Greened it. Let's go. Up by 11 and looking really good. Oh, Stanley Johnson, the easy steal. They threw it right to him. Let's get after it. To Stavskis. Shoots it for three. Money. Stavskis. This is what I envision Stavskis' role in the offense as being. Just that guy that if he has an inch of space, is going to drill the three in your face. And yes, I know that rhymed. And yes, I know that was a stupid foul there as Zach Randolph had an easy bucket. But you know what? I do stupid things sometimes. <laughs> Stanley Johnson jams at home. Bench unit looking strong. Starting unit looking strong. Everyone looking strong. And it's been a, just a fun game so far. And we needed it after those terrible losses to two bad teams, the Mavs and the Suns. Ooh, Stauskas again, and he'll green it. He can, he's the player that can have the least amount of space and still green it, and I love that. Oh, I'll shoot another three. Ooh, not able to go, but I am going to be aggressive with Nick Stauskas this game because shots are falling. We end the third quarter up by 11. Laurie Markkinen, his hair looking real good right there, um, and our team looking real good as well. Yes, yeah, Stauskas is pumped up. Markel Folds is pumped up. Thon Maker getting his blocks. I think a Thon Maker block is probably my second favorite thing next to a Thon Maker. Great finish around the rim. Stauskas, ooh, makes a risky pass in there to Bogut. Bogut makes a nice, easy pass into a cutting Stanley Johnson. And nothing's really going wrong for us. We're seeming to get points when we need them. Um, not really stalling out on offense like we usually do. Ooh, Stauskas for three off the screen. The dribble handoff three. One of my favorite types of three-pointers, and we are looking good. Up 12, Stanley Johnson inside gets absolutely demolished by, was that Jabari Parker? I think it was. Ooh, they try to feed it inside, but we get the steal. Stauskas, he's Gatorated out, up ahead to Johnson. I'm keeping the bench in because they are effective right now. The pick and roll with Stauskas. Stauskas trying to get inside. Passes it to Bogut. Bogut back to Stauskas who cuts. And look at that two-man game. That's lovely. We've got a commanding lead on this one, but we'll put the starters back in. we got to let Thon get his uh, 40 to 50 points like he always does. Uh, he's going to drive. He's going to finish. Just take him down to the baseline and overpower him there. They're going to start pressing us every possession, I guess. And that's 
risky move as Thon Green's a jumper there. Uh, two minutes left, up by 14. Not a lot of intrigue left, especially just with the way we've been dominating. They're going to continue the full court press and leaving just wide open buckets on the break. And we'll keep taking them. I've got no moral issue with that. <laughs> Markel Fultz to Beasley. Beasley going to drive in. Easy finish. And I guess this is what this game has devolved to now. They're going to full court press. We'll sprint the other way and score uh, until the clock runs out. And that's cool. Getting our guys some points. Uh, Lonzo with it. Up ahead to Thon Maker. Thon Maker using his strength to maintain balance and flick it up and in. And we'll get the dub here. Everything clicked uh, in this game, and I was just really happy with the way the team performed. We did a lot of back cutting, um, and yeah, it was just a great game, a lot of movement. We never really got um, too complacent, and Thonmaker had a great game. But you know who else had a great game that I'm way more excited about? Nick freaking Stauskas. He scored, let's check the stats here, how many points? Um, 23! So that's 46 in the stat column when you double it. Uh, Thonmaker, 29, so that's 58, as well as four blocks. Beasley had eight points, um, and just a great game. So we had our bench scorer in Stauskas, who actually played more minutes than Thon. Uh, we kept the bench out there a lot this game, and you know what? That's all right to do sometimes. Stanley Johnson absolutely stuffed the stat sheet with 6 3 3 4 one <laughs> beautiful and Bogut had um, eight points eight rebounds eight assists that's exactly why we love him uh, and overall just a really good game a great way to start wrapping up the season uh, thank you guys so much for watching uh, I'm getting really excited to get to the next part of the season or the next part of the series uh, where we will go to the next season draft our new prospects and it's gonna be pretty sick